If you have been looking around, you already know that I love art challenges. Every single month, I pick up one art challenge and I do them. And one exercise that I picked up recently that not only helped me improve my drawings and in this video i will be sharing with you how to do the challenge how to use this exercise in your daily drawing practice so i hope you enjoy and find value in this video the exercise that i want to share with you is called gesture drawings now gesture drawings are simple line drawings you essentially have to draw the subject with as minimal lines as possible but picking up only the essentials from your subject and as i will proceed on in this video the complexity of the subjects will increase giving us a little bit more challenges to figure out the gesture of the subjects starting from simple cats uh, figures and then a little bit complex subject like portraits now it helps you you know the gesture drawings helps you to eliminate getting stuck with those details of any complex subject that you choose the key of using gesture lines in your drawings is to think before you draw see and study your subject figure out how easily you can make it look alike here i was focusing too hard at the beginning to get the face right i didn't notice that all that i had to do is get her curvy body first and over time your hand and eye coordination will get better and you will see that these gestures are very easily you know you can pick up them very easily you can see in your reference and identify them very easily the practical way of using gesture drawing is to create more that's it you don't have to think too much about them just practice uh, to do this practice i first use a a4 sketchbook and then i switched to a more smaller sketchbook but i do suggest you to take up a surface which is a little bit bigger or a sketchbook which is a bit bigger like a4 sketchbooks uh, or bigger than that to practice this you can move Move your hand a little bit better if you use a larger surface than a smaller one. As I was drawing and doing these exercises, I took poses of cats that are a little bit hard to see and figure out. I was just focusing on the overall shape and trying to find a bigger connection, a connecting line that I can draw first in the paper. and I was trying to connect the subject from head to tail. I do think using gesture drawings in your everyday drawing will make it look more dynamic. And to be honest, one of my goal this year was to able to achieve my drawings to a level where I can draw anything with loose style and I can also make it feel more natural. Stiffness in drawing is a challenge every artist gets. Uh, so the portraits you're making can look a little bit stiff. The figures you're drawing can look stiff regardless of the subject. If you think your drawing looks stiff, gesture drawings can help you fix it. I want you to get better faster so I would highly recommend you to take on this challenge early on in your drawing practice. Okay, so moving on to a more complex subject, we are still keeping our subjects to cats, but I am going to show you this one, which is a little bit different and um, not different. It was also similar pose, but the photo reference that I had is a little bit hard to look at. And there was a lot of um, details there and a lot of you know noise going on on the reference. So the first thing I drew in here is the head to tail connection and then i picked it more and refined it more refining those features like mouth hand paws and all of those things and also adding a little bit of fur details onto the cat body 